Hi sisters, today we're going to be watching a bunch of street interviews that take it a little bit too far. Also subscribe because if you haven't already, I'm going to find you on the street, berate you, and then ask you what your favorite condom flavor is. Israel Padilla. Not Anthony Padilla. We're not talking about anybody who puts actual effort into their content. Israel Padilla is a YouTuber, TikToker, Instagram reeler with over 159,000 subscribers and 200 in 98 videos. It's content like, do you have a gag reflex? What's your worst hookup story? Why do girls hate short guys? You know, cool, man. Now I came across Israel Padilla because I saw a TikTok of him and boy, oh boy, did it make me happy. What's something that you really hate about a guy? Oh, what do you hate about a guy? When I'm trying to go to the bathroom on 6th Street and they're like, hey, can I ask you a question? <laughs> you? We got same thing. We got Stop. Damn, he is so mad. <laughs> well, you guys fucking talk to me. I kind of love her, to be honest. I think she's great. I love the little look that she gave at the end. That is so amazing, and I love how butthurt he was. We need to make men more butthurt in public. Are you kidding me? You cannot go to a mall these days without guys going up to you being like, how big is too big? What the f leave me alone. I like that harassment is just normalized now. I really liked the way that he lashed out a little bit. On his TikTok, he actually cuts out the response where he's like, well, you guys f***ing talk to me. That's all cut out, which I absolutely love because it makes him look like, dare I say it, a soy boy. You know, his shirt says strike first, strike hard, no mercy. I would assume this is a Cobra Kai karate white belt thing. I don't know. If you're doing karate past the age of 18, what are you doing? My only memories of karate was me running around doing laps on a karate mat while the coach said I was too fat. Little did he know my knees were broken at the time and I had undiagnosed Lyme. It was a whole thing. Today's video is sponsored by FUBAR. If going out and socializing gives you more anxiety than you'd like to admit, check out FUBAR, a place where you can hang out, have fun, and play games virtually. You can meet new people all from the comfort of your own home. Click my link in the description below to check it out. Now back to the regular video. Now, I watched every single one of Israel Padilla's YouTube shorts, and here are some of my favorites. When was the last time you trimmed your nose hair? Mm. Oh. Well, that's crazy. Because I know you've been having some long ones. I see one too. He did not just. I love ludicrous edits. Fast and Furious 12 or whatever the f this clip is from. That's what you're putting into this. <laughs> Oh, okay. So to my editor, do you remember that one part in Fast and Furious 15 where Ludacris was like, he did not just say that. It was really cool. What are you doing? Oh, because people go up to you. You're like, can I ask you a question? And they expect, I don't know, something interesting, maybe like a, a poll of public opinion. But no, he goes, when's the last time you shaved your nose hair? Because I see a couple. One's actually sticking out right now. Hey, man, shut the f up. You're making videos about like, why do women not like short men? And you're the one to talk to a woman on a beach and be like, I see your nose hairs. Yeah, no sh because you're so f low compared to a normal sized woman. Did you just say that? You're wild. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Kaylee Quinn. And this man decides to come up on me and insult me when this man is 5'4". Beautiful! Oh my god. I love that this is titled, Last Time You Trimmed Your Nose Hair? Question mark? Like, that's the focal point of the video? No. It's Kaylee Quinn right here, who's on the goddamn beach, all styled out. I don't know why she's holding onto the microphone like this. Maybe she's pretending that maybe it's his tiny, tiny weenie. When this man is 5'4", uh -huh. shorter than me, so watch yourself, baby. Hey, you have a good day today. <laughs> good one. Wait, so he has no response? He just like sits there with sunglasses on and pretends like he's doing anything? Buddy, that chain is way too long. It's down to your happy trail. I don't understand this type of content because you have to have no personality to do this. There are some people who have done man on the street stuff and it's like funny. This guy is just standing here asking stupid questions. He like has something in the back of his head where he's like, okay, I'm going to mention her long nose hairs that I can quote see because I'm so short. She says he's literally 5'4" and then instead of saying anything on the spot to rebuttal, like have like a fun little back and forth, he just puts memes from popular movies. What the f 
He puts Robert Downey Jr. rolling his eyes like that's a response. What are you talking about, man? And this is all his content is. This one, for example. What makes your thing go down in the bedroom? Mm. Hey, so what makes your thing go down in the bedroom? You could just say, what's your biggest turnoff? He's like, oh, what makes your go from erect to soft? Can you describe it to me in great detail? <laughs> what the f no, 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 stank <laughs> Stank puss. Hey, if it smells like fish, make it a dish. If it smells like cologne, you leave it alone a la verga. Can we take this step by step? What makes your thing go down in the bedroom? First off, great question. This guy with the largest sunglasses I've ever seen goes, Stank puss. Ah, stank puss. I don't like to eat vagina with a stanky puss. And then this guy comes in and says something that's barely discernible. Like, it doesn't make any sense. If it smells like fish, make it a dish. Okay, cool. But he doesn't care about the smell. If it smells like cologne, leave it alone. Now, what does that mean? That she's previously gotten pleasured by someone wearing cologne or she wears cologne? What's the... Who the f is this guy? Israel Padilla, King Israel underscore underscore. King as in like Napoleon Bonaparte. You're so f short, man. He goes, put some tapatio on that with some crackers to soak up the juice. You're the most disgusting person I've ever seen on the internet. What are you talking about? Yeah, you put some tapatio and then you eat her out and it's a little spicy and it stings her actually. And then it gives her a yeast infection. But who cares? Because you've got crackers to sop up the juice. Ah! <laughs> hey, bro, hey, give me your best grito. <laughs> That guy's never had sex, I'll tell you that right now. Who does that? Besides you, he's in the bed. He's like putting on hot sauce and taking out his crackers and the girl's like, what the f are you doing? He's like, Stank puss. This video is called, do you want to make out? It's one of his most liked videos. Let's see uh, if he ends up getting it in. Make out. We can if you want to. Oh, we can if we want to. You about it? How to kiss? Baby, I know how to do everything. You know how to kiss? Let's go. Come. So you had somebody who was interested in kissing you, right? And you like swerve them as if you are literally 15 years old. I haven't seen that since middle school, to be honest. So 15 is an overstatement. If I went to a mall and saw someone do that, I'd kick them in the shins. That's terrible. <laughs> that poor girl. <laughs> Like this. <laughs> she walks away. I knew it was coming. And then this guy goes, I knew it was coming. I saw it from a mile away. I knew it was coming. What? It's actually kind of sad. She was like down too. She was like, do you know how to kiss? Let's do it. He goes, Fuck. How much you weigh? <laughs> How much do you weigh? A guy who's a little bit bigger, also much taller. This guy could rock you in a second, King Israel. Let's see what he says. Damn. How much do I look on a cool to you? How much to do me? I look? Yeah. Hmm. Hey, how much do you think he weighs? You're such a bitch. You ask him a question and you expect him to go, yes, this is my actual weight that I'm pretty self-conscious about. How much do you think I weigh? He goes, let me just ask the nearest person. No, answer it. <laughs> You're asking the question. 240. 240? 240. Nah, she close. She close? What am I? Hey. Oh, How much you weigh, bro? Nah, on the cool, I weigh 300, bro. 300? Yeah. Sir. You want to prove it on the weight skill? Bring it. Oh, shit. Shit, okay. I like your confidence. 300, though? Yeah. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Say, Eric, it's broken. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Hold me, hold me, hold me. I got you, I got you. Damn. How much you said? <laughs> 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 Bro, why are you shaking my hand? Hey, I can hey, 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 hey. The shit said error, and then he shakes his hand because he was like, it's going to say error before he stepped on the scale. And then the guy goes, why the fuck are you shaking my hand? It said error. It's your fucking scale. This was your idea in the first place. <laughs> what? Y'all like bodybuilders? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I like skinny, scrawny guys. How about multimillionaires? <laughs> How about eight inches and thick? All right. So this is who we're dealing with, though. I'm sorry that I'm surprised, but like I shouldn't be. This makes sense. Is this just a random guy on the fucking beach? How about bodybuilders? How about multimillionaires? How about eight inches? And, and thick. thick. Oh, sounds terrible. <laughs> How about talented? How about loving and respectful? 
life 10 weeks ago. They're like backing up because they're like, oh, shit. they say they're type. They say, I actually like scrawny guys. He goes, but what about me though? And then he goes on to say, I left my wife 10 weeks ago. 21 years faithful. My daughter committed three weeks ago oh shit 13 she was faster than me at 12 and i run a six minute mile my testimony i'm nothing but pure and i ask you if you want to be in the youtube channel and you like scrawny guys sorry i'm doing some cleaning around my desk because i don't know how to respond to that yeah that sucks that you lost your kid but what he's like you don't like me let me tell you my life story and how traumatic my life is i hate you Oof. I know he trauma dump on us like that. Damn. He did trauma dump on you though. He thinks that they're like out to get him. What is that? A guy asks a question. He says, "Do you like bodybuilders?" They go, "No, I kind of like scrawny guys." And I like skinny scrawny guys. How about eight inches and thick? Like ten weeks ago, my daughter committed suicide three weeks ago. Oh shit. Whoa. Holy shit, man. Most of this footage is going to be used in a true crime documentary. That shit's crazy. Some of the people that. You're asking are genuinely like unhinged humans overall street interviews prank videos i mean this guy <laughs> has the best personality i've ever seen and to be honest i can't wait to see him blow up anybody whose profile picture is of a shirt that mimics hub logo is obviously crushing it i hope you all enjoyed this video also thank you to all my members for supporting me if you want to become a member click the link in the description below i will talk to you later bye